Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, uh, uh, yesterday we discussed Newton's first law of motion, and then we discussed Newton's second law of motion, and we did some questions, five of questions, actually. Now, we are going to discuss Newton's third law of motion. Beta ji, the Newton's third law of motion now, in O level, we used to state it like, to every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. But now in A level exams, statement of third law comes as a question for of three marks. So what do you think if you will write this, you will get three marks? No, you will hardly get one mark. So from now on, you are going to state the third law like that. Please note it down. How would you state the third law? When a body A, it could be any object A, applies a force on another body B, then at the same time, one mark is for this writing same time, the body B will apply an equal but opposite force on object or body A. It means if A applies a force on B, the B applies the force on A. So this is the statement you should write now. So what uh, what are the action and reactions? Let me ask you. What do you mean by action and reactions? What are those? Action and reaction are forces. We used to state action and reaction are equal but opposite to each other. So if two forces are equal and opposite to, opposite to each other, they should cancel out each other. But what do we observe when we push the water in during swimming? When we are swimming, we push the water backward and water pushes us forward. When we are walking, we push the earth ground backward and girth pushes us forward. And the rocket pushes the gases downward and the gases pushes the rocket upward. The first force applied by the rocket on the gas or swimmer on the water or the walker on the uh, ground is action and the other forces applied are the action we say action and reaction are equal but opposite forces if they are equal but opposite then they why don't they cancel out each other Hassan. answer is there Action and reaction are equal and opposite forces, but actually they are acting on two different objects. Like when we are walking, we apply the action on the ground, but the reaction ground applies on us, on the walker. Both forces are not acting on the same object. In, the, in swimming, the action the swimmer applies on the water. The action is on the water. But reaction water applies on the swimmer. Reaction is on the swimmer. Similarly, the action for rocket applies the force on the gases. That is action. And reaction is applied on the rocket by the gases. So if you consider these examples, action and reaction they are always acting on two different objects. Now, sometime in junior classes, we used to say, to make this understand, 
द एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन लाइक इफ यू डू अ गुड डीड अ गुड एक्शन विद समन ही विल लेटर ऑन रिएक्ट द सेम वे बट बेटा इन फिजिक्स बोथ एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन दे अकर एट सेम टाइम दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक इफ यू हिट द बॉल विद योर हैंड यू विल पे फील द पेन स्ट्रेट अवे राइट एट द सेम टाइम राइट बेटा जी सो एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन both forces acted at act at the same time it's not like that action occurs then after some while the reaction will come no here action and reaction both act at the same time and the another important point is this when you hit the wall with your hand then you hand will again feel the force from where by the wall it's not like that you hit the wall with your hand and then your hand will experience from some other object no same object will be applying force on each other in action and reaction if a applies force on b the b will apply force on a no other object will be there to apply force on a they will be applying force on each other when we are looking at action and reaction in action and reaction there is no third object involved right so keep it in mind if nucleus attracts the electron the electron will be attracting the nucleus both they will be applying force on each other if there is repulsion a north pole repels another second north pole the second north pole will also be repelling the first north pole no third object is involved when we are talking about action and reaction right okay now let me uh, discuss with you can you hear me clear yes Yes, okay sir. surosh and hasan if earth attracts you do you attract the earth yes yes, no? yes. he is right now surosh tell me who is applying larger force earth on us or we apply on the earth what do you think we apply force on each other but the earth's force is much stronger on us Yes, Hasan. What is your idea? Is he right? Uh, yes, sir. I guess. No. We both apply same force on each other. But Earth is very heavy. Earth is very heavy. So when we jump, heavy. Earth attracts us downward. We can move down to the Earth again. but it's not like that when we jump up and we can attract the earth upward because earth is way way too large beta when ever an object uh, div, uh they are two objects applying force on each other always the smaller force smaller object feels greater effect of the force but the both apply equal force on each other uh there is an example uh hasan you will understand it uh, quickly uh sometime it happens uh two boys in an event kickli khelte hain what do they do let's say these are two boys they hold on each other's hand and they start rotating spinning right like this so have you ever seen somebody doing this only for children okay 
so when both of students are spinning revolving both feel the force on their hand hasan kiya kabhi aapne yes sir to beta dono ke hath pe zor lagta hai both feel the strength right lekin ek minute ke liye zara mujhe bataye yes agar ek in mein se jo partner hai wo bahut mota hai aur bada hai aur dusra partner bahut chota hai aur ye agar aapas mein they spin with each other what will be the scenario actually the smaller one will almost be spinning in the air flying in the air hai na the yes. larger one will be almost yes. staying at its place so if you consider the earth and moon not only the earth applies the force on the moon moon also applies the force on the earth but which one is greater larger earth and moon is smaller so the smaller object starts flying around actually both apply force on each other equally but the greater respect is always on the smaller mass the smaller mass starts revolving orbiting around the larger mass same is the case with earth and sun then earth earth is smaller so earth starts revolving orbiting around the sun but let me tell you both apply the force on each other equally right clear yes okay now i am going to ask a question and most probably you are going to answer me wrong can i speak the question you have to write it ready can i speak yes okay question is pour a book on a table diagram is already drawn there in past paper there is no diagram it's just the word you have to uh, concentrate on the statement i'm going to speak pour a book on a table if the weight of the book is action pour a book on a table if the weight of the book is action then what is reaction ji beta answer please earth force on the book you are close but not clash not correct that is the action Ground i'm asking the what is the action ji nahi sroosh is wrong hasan was more closer जी बेटा टेबल्स फोर्स ऑन द बुक जी नहीं हसान यू वर वेरी वेरी क्लोजर in first try जी बेटा नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू आउट एक्चुअली स्टेटमेंट से 
if the weight of the book is action what do you mean by weight weight is the gravity force force of gravity who's who applies the gravity on the book the earth and what is the direction of the gravity downward so action means you were all concentrating on table no it says if weight of the book is action is weight is the downward gravity by the earth on the book downward gravity by the earth on the book so if earth applies force on book the reaction will apply will be applied by the book on the earth no third object is involved you were just concentrating on the table it says if weight is the action so weight is the downward force applied by the earth on the book so reaction will be can you write reaction will be upward force applied by the book on the earth can you understand ji beta ji will you be able to understand sroosh so you are seeing normal force and you have given the cause is the book itself on the earth yes hasan samajh aa jayega beta yes sir okay acha beta ji 